Welcome. So today I will be talking about my EDC, also known as Everyday Carry. I've been doing street photography for almost seven years and my gear has changed a lot uh, over the past many years. So let's get into it. So let's start with the most interesting thing in my bag, which is my camera. And I'm filming on it right now. It's the Sony a7C. It's a full frame camera. It's also known as a hybrid camera. It's good for photography and videography. And I've been using it mostly for photos, but lately I've been doing vlogging on it as well. And it's been my go-to camera and workhorse since uh, I bought it. All right, so let's move on to the lenses. So first up is my Sony Zeiss 55 millimeter 1.8 lens. So this lens has been on my camera ever since I bought it. It's my go-to lens. It's a very compact, lightweight uh, lens that I keep on my camera every time I go out. It's a 55 millimeter focal length, which is close to the 50 millimeter, also known as Nifty 50. And the photos on this thing are so sharp and probably because it's a Zeiss lens. And uh, yeah, that's why it stays on my camera. All right, so the next uh, lens is my second favorite lens, which is the uh, Sony 85 millimeter 1.8 lens. So this is not a typical focal length for street photography, but more and more photographers are taking photos with the 85. It's a very versatile lens. Um, you can use it for a lot of different purposes. Uh, I use it for uh, detail shots uh, and I use it for close-ups. And I also use it when I'm doing street photography where I don't want to be close to the subjects or I don't want to be seen. So uh, with this lens, I can actually stand at a distance and uh, take photos uh, without being caught. Uh, so yeah, I really love this uh, focal length as well. All right, so let's take a look at the filters that I have in my camera bag. So first up is the uh, Peter McKinnon uh, Signature Edition Mark II. It's uh, from Prola Pro. It's two to five stops, uh, which is really good to have in the camera bag, especially when it's sunny outside or very bright. Um, and uh, you wanna shoot at uh, low apertures like 1.4, 1.8, 2.0. Uh, this can come in really handy. I also have this uh, Nisi Black Mist filter that I absolutely love. It's uh, strength 1.8 uh, and I've used it on my 85 millimeter a lot. And the result is just dreamy, hazy looking photos. I can highly recommend this. Um, so if you wanna check out that video, you can find it on the channel and the playlist. I also have a couple of step-up rings for my filters. Um, I, they're in different sizes because my filters are always uh, at the largest size, which is 82 millimeters. This way I don't have to buy a filter for every lens um, and I can just use the step-up rings to uh, use it on different lenses. All right, so up next is my little companion camera, which is the uh, GoPro 10. Uh, it's uh, my workhorse camera that I mostly use for my POV videos and the behind the scenes videos that I make for this channel. Um, it's super lightweight and uh, you can get an hour's uh, video footage out of it. Um, so it's really good to have that in the bag as well. So recently I also bought this small mount from Small Rig, which I put on top of my hot shoe and then you can put the camera on it like this and then you have easy behind the scenes footage if I need it um, so sometimes I carry this but not always um, all right so next up is my tripod which is from PGI tech uh, it's the mantis pod pro it's a very sturdy small compact tripod that I actually do pack in my everyday carry um, because I never know if I'm gonna have a need for it. So I just pack it anyway and have it with me. And uh, I'm actually using it more and more when I'm out on the streets. So yeah. All right, so last but not least, the uh, Wandered Rome 3 liter. I think it's called the Rogue now, they renamed it. It's a very small compact camera bag. I have a couple and this is my favorite for the everyday carry. It's uh, big enough to carry or hold my camera body and a, a lens of choice and a couple accessories. And uh, yeah, and it's weather sealed. And actually when I bought it the first time, I, uh, I regretted not buying the six liter. But now I, I think it's uh, really good that I didn't because I have to choose what kind of gear that I take with me uh, out on, uh, on photo shoots. So yeah, this is my favorite go-to bag. 
So the next accessory is my favorite. It's the Peak Design Slide Light for mirrorless cameras. Uh, this is my absolute favorite. I use it every time I go out to do street photography. I just strap on my camera to it, put it on my shoulder, that's it, and I'm out of the outdoor. All right, so that was my everyday carry for street photography, my minimal setup. So if you have any questions to the gear that I showed, let me know in the comments. And uh, also let me know what kind of gear you use when you're out on the streets. All right, take care. See you in the next one.